Bonjour! Bienvenue à Paris. We're back in France. Salut tout le monde! Here I am back in Paris. This time not with Sunet. Sad. But I have a replacement, Christine. Still with her. This is the last leg of our vacation. We got here and we ate lunch at a Chinese restaurant because why not? Um, has some good spicy food. And it's hard to come by spicy food in France, so that was good. And then we, because we took a flight this morning from Madrid, early in the morning, we barely slept because these Belgian boys in our room came home drunk late and woke us all up and whatnot. So we had to rush this morning to catch our plane. We didn't have any makeup on. Now you see that I am wearing makeup, and that is because we went into a Sephora and raided it. We went down every aisle and put down mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow, lip gloss. So you know, now we're pretty. But in the midst of uh, my makeover, I lost our map. Yeah, we lost our sense of direction. So then but we were we lost pretty. for a little bit. At least we look pretty. But then I stumbled upon a tourist office and oh, got another map. So we're good now, and as you can see, we're at the Louvre. After stopping by the Louvre, we continued to walk down the gardens and all the way down the Champs Elysees, where we stopped for a quick snack. Christine tried macaroons for the first time, a necessity while in France. And here are her thoughts on them tasty little treats. Hey, hey. Just tried some macaroons? Yes, very delicious. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's ineffable. It's like it's this. There's a late reaction with the tongue because like you experience so many different like textures and flavors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so good. It's really good. Afterwards, we went to the Arc de Triomphe and we continued on on foot and walked all the way to the Eiffel Tower. So all this on foot, it was madness. The soles of my feet have never hurt so bad. So needless to say, we didn't have the energy to walk up the stairs of the tower, but we admired the sunset from below and got to see the pretty lights. Bonsoir. As you can see, I'm at the beautiful Eiffel Tower. The first time I get to see it up close at night. We were gonna go up top, but the line is really, really long and the stairs look kind of scary. So we're just gonna admire it from below for now and we're gonna go get dinner really soon with Antonia, an old friend from junior year. So it was really great to have dinner with Antonia. We hadn't seen her since our junior year of college. She was a study abroad student for a semester. And we became pretty good friends. We got to catch up and she treated us to dinner at a really nice traditional French restaurant. It was a great day in Paris. Day two, we decided to leave the city and started our day in Versailles to go see the famous chateau. So here we are at Versailles, Chateau de Versailles. As you can see, there's a lot of people in line. Waiting to go into the castle. It's made famous by Louis XIV. Look at all them go. Shit. Hi, Christine. Hey. We are here at Versailles. the castle. Very, very beautiful. Very mm -hmm. regal and elegant. And we barely saw anything yet. I know. Still got lots more to do. Yeah, we just got started. Last day in Paris. Mm -hmm. We are in the Hall of Mirrors. As you can see, the most famous part of Castle of Versailles, the biggest room, I think. It's really windy here, as you can tell. So we just saw the 
podcast for first time. I'm wearing sunglasses because the wind is blowing sand everywhere. It's not actually sunny anymore, which is unfortunate. But uh, we saw the inside. There we go. And it was beautiful, as expected. And uh, yeah, we were, the gardens aren't really fully in bloom yet. The fountains, as you can see, aren't running yet. So I'm sure it's even more gorgeous in the summertime. So right now, we're going to take the train back. So it's enormous. So we're just gonna, you know, pinpoint the top pieces of artwork, the most famous ones, ones we want to see. Go check them out. Go grab some dessert. So in the Louvre, we got to see basically just you know the the big things. You know, Mona Lisa, the couple of statues, a couple of French um, paintings that I had studied in college. So that was pretty cool to see in person. And then we met up with Antonia again for a quick coffee at uh, good old Starbucks. I know, not very French. But, to be honest, we tried to go to the oldest cafe in Paris, but they wouldn't let us just have a coffee because it was dinner time and France has rules about when you eat and it's annoying and whatnot. So, Seriously, Paris is super expensive. So we were looking around at all the menus and I was getting depressed because like hot chocolate was six euros somewhere. So we just said, screw it, let's just go to Starbucks and sit on some couches, you know? So it was cozy and fun. And then the following morning, I said goodbye to my dear friend Christine and I headed back to Rodez. It was really an amazing, amazing trip with Christine and also with Andy. I'm so grateful that Christine was able to come here and spend this quality time with me. The time has flown by since it's three weeks after and looking back, I'm just amazed at everything that we did in that short amount of time in all those cities. And believe it or not, folks, my time here in France is almost at an end. A little over two weeks until I go home. But no worries. I still have a few blogs to put out there. So there'll be some more Kucha time coming at you soon. Next blog featuring my family in France.